hello I'm making these fabric and ribbon bows today I've used on this one a unicorn print fabric and a rainbow fine glitter because that matches all the colors in this printed fabric and I've stuck this little unicorn embellishment in the center and also we've got some tulle on there as well so for the one I'm going to show you now I'm going to do a flamingo theme so I'm going to be using this lovely bright pink ribbon for my base bow I've cut two pieces four centimeters wide one and a half inch wide and I've cut them both to 20 centimeters in length or eight inches in length and that's the same for both pieces. I'm just going to heat seal the ends. And then I'm going to fold them in half. And we're just going to make a basic double pinch bow for our base. Mark the centers got a needle an extra strength thread knotted at the end. I'm just going to line these up with that crease I've just made, slightly overlap them. I'll show you on the bottom side so you can see. So where this crease is I've just made, slightly overlap that crease, both sides. Once you're happy that that's all straight, you can start sewing your pinch. Now I'm coming in from the bottom because I'm upside down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's right, I'm confusing myself now because I'm working underneath. Like that. And then the same with the other piece. So slightly overlap that centre crease. Just checking because I'm continuing with the same piece of thread. So if I want to join these up. One, two, three, four, five. around the center a few times one two three pull that tight and then just go in through that bottom just to seal that off a couple of times And there you have your basic pinch bow for your base. So these are the three fabrics I've chosen for my flamingo themed bow. This lovely bright pink chunky glitter fabric. This lovely holographic pink mirror fabric. And this flamingo print leatherette. So for the tails, I'm using the Beauty Pinch Bow template. This is from, this is this one. And that is from Glitter Glitter on the Wall. As you can see, I've used this 
template a lot. It's one of my favourite ones. So I'm using this fabric for the tails. So I'm going to place my tail template on there. And I'm going to draw around that tail. And we're going to cut this out. I always cut inside my template lines so that you can't see the pen lines on the underside of your fabric. I'm using a different towel template to the one I used in the last bow purely because I didn't think that was quite big enough. You couldn't quite see it underneath the tool, which is why I've gone for the beauty bow template. On the other, on the other bow, I used this template and I drew around the inside. I'll show you that. So as you can see, I used a silver holographic one. You can't quite see it, which is why I've gone for a slightly larger tail on this one. So now we've got the tail, we can actually glue that onto our base now. And to line that up, and as you can see, that's a lot bigger, so we should be able to see that when we've got our top layers on, peeking through the side. So stick that on there like that. Set that to one side. Oh, I've got a piece of stringy glue stuck to me. So we're done with this fabric now, so I'll put that aside. Now we need to pick a flamingo which we like. So I think I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for this one here. I'm going to line my template up over that flamingo so that that's facing inwards. I always like my images to face inwards towards the center of my bow. So about there. And we're just drawing around half of this template like that. And then we're going to cut that one out. Again, cutting inside that pen line. Obviously, I've drawn on the front. Usually, I draw on the back, but I draw on the front of this one purely because I wanted to select the image so I could have my flamingo placed where I want it to be. have this lovely pink. So again using the same template we're going to draw around this other half of the template and cut that out also. do is because this fabric is quite thin and flimsy I don't think that's going to hold its shape very well so I've already got this this is just a craft felt and I've got some double-sided sticky sheets which I've stuck onto this craft felt and again 
So I'm going to take the same template, draw around it onto this sticky paper backing. And we're going to line the back of our bow. That will just give that extra sort of stiffness to hold a nice bow shape, the nice loops. I'm going to cut around this. you've cut around that back in I'm going to peel off that and as you can see that double sided sticky is now stuck onto that craft felt I'm going to lay that on my lap tray and we're going to place these on the top and that will also join them together at the same time fluffy bits. Just going to trim, trim them off. You'll find they'll stick to the scissors but I don't matter, you can pull them off after. Just trim around all of those little fluffy edge pieces so that they don't show. fluffy bits. I'm just going to place a little bit of glue under there and then you can make those loops. So bringing those sides into the centre. see when you've made those loops that flamingo is now sitting there looking towards the center as I wanted it. Now we're not going to stick that directly on there we're going to I've got a piece of this ribbon already cut off. First I'm going to cut a strip of this off to line my hair clip seal that raw edge. And then I've got a 45 millimeter clip. I'm just going to line that. There's your lined clip and we're going to pop that onto the bottom of our base bow with the tails on. And then using that same piece of ribbon that we've just cut from, again I'm just going to heat seal that raw edge. And we're going to cut off another, just a thin strip. I'm 
this thin strip, heat seal the other raw edge. The reason I'm using this ribbon, because I haven't got any 10 millimeter wide to match this or thinner ribbon to match. So if that's the case, I just trim a piece off the matching ribbon, wide as I need it. And stick that across that center. Bring that around under the clip. Around the top. Trim off the excess. that part stuck down and then you can also wrap a piece around this ribbon uh, bow sorry so again I'm gonna cut another thin strip heat seal the raw edge And that's going to be wrapped around the loops here. So again, I'm going to start at the top to cover up that join. Bring that around. Get that around a few times actually. Trim off that excess. your loops. Now we need to pick the tool. I've got two different colours here. I think I'm gonna go for I think I'll go for the darker one. Now this is a six inch wide glitter tool. We don't obviously want it this wide. We only want it about four centimetres wide. So I'm going to cut a strip I'm going to do it by eye for now, the width I'm going to do by eye, and we want to cut a strip of this to 32 centimetres. So I'll just show you on here, so we're going to cut it to 32 centimetres. So I've cut a strip from my till and this is around four centimetres wide and I've cut that to 32 centimetres in length or 12 and a half inches to draw the width of inches. Now again Taking a needle and a thread, I'm just going to knot it at the end. We're going to sew along this raw edge that I've just cut. I'm just going to sew in and out all the way across to the other end. through 
and then we're going to join the two ends up just by going through that side pulling it tight and just going through a couple of times Try not to get your tool stuck. One last time just to seal that off. Like that. I'm just going to trim off those little excess bits of cotton. And then that gives you this little sort of flower shape like that. Now we can stick this to here. Now what I'm going to use is a little square of plain felt. So I just cut off a little piece of plain white felt glue that to the top of your base bow and tails and then where this joins here I'm going to have that to the side because you won't see that because that will be under your bow so where the join is I'm going to make sure that's on that side so I've got a bit of glue on there the join on this side just push that down make sure that's in the center like that so this is what you've got so far and next we're going to pop this bow or loops with the flamingos on the top I'm going to pop a bit of glue on either side of the loop and the centre. I'm just going to line that up. As you can see, these bigger tails are much better. You can see them now. I'll show you compared to the unicorn one in a moment. All down, make sure they're stuck tight. And then we're ready to stick on our little flamingo. So there's our little flamingo, we're ready to stick him on. I'm going to be using this E600 glue. Take that lid off. Figure out what parts I need to place the glue so around the top of his neck and his body. I hold that in place while I put my lid back on. Let's say this takes about 72 hours to fully cure, and once this glue cures super strong and there you have your finished flamingo hair bow with the tool and the ribbon and the tails I'll just show you compared to the unicorn one And as you can see, these bigger tails stand out much better than these tails. If I'd have used these bigger tails, you'd have seen it more, but still a lovely hair bow. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.